Welcome back to Best of the Class 1998. And now, a delicious program to help students make the transition from college to classroom. Gone are the days of plain old home economics. You have fabulous, fabulous chefs that are judging, take advantage, show them, and a job. It is an intense time for these high school seniors, finalists in a competition that could open many doors. Richard Grausman is president and founder of CCAP, the Careers Through Culinary Arts program. Careers Through Culinary Arts program is designed to uh, find young high school students who have a passion for food and want to do something with it as for a career. You have the preliminary competition, which we are testing knife skills, which we consider very important uh, because entry-level work is a lot of preparation. So we're watching the facility that they have, and they practice, practice, practice. So if they're, if they're awkward in doing this at this stage, we don't want to guide them into this field. We want to take their interest and try to guide it someplace else. Carmine Gugliamino, a student at John Dewey High School in Brooklyn, ranks 14 in his class and seemed to be taking things in stride. During the day of the competition, we had to make a chicken dish. It was, it was um, poached chicken with uh, turned vegetables and a chive sauce. And for dessert, it was a crepe dish, crepes with pastry cream and chocolate sauce. Weeks before, we had to um, like practice for it. It took a lot of practice. A lot of details. That's, this is a lot of details. There's a lot of things in these dishes that you have to pay attention to to be perfect. They all look pretty serious, and you'd be too if you were being watched by celebrity chefs like Sheila Lukens of the Silver Palette. There was definitely a lot of pressure, not only for me, but for the other students as well, because you have to realize it's also a competition. I would love to cook um, as an executive chef, head the restaurant in a kitchen somewhere. I would really love to travel overseas to do that. As long as I'm able to um, cook, that'll be good. Daniel Coward, a student at Springfield Gardens High School in Queens, ranks sixth in his class. Interviews with the judges help in figuring out what these students would love to do. I really like using my imagination, decorating cakes and just pastries in general. He's chosen to go to St. John's uh, to study hospitality. But I found, and the chefs in the competition found, that he had a passion for food. And in our uh, interview, he told me that his real passion was pastry. With attractive scholarships being offered, the grade point average of the competitors keeps rising as the program becomes more popular. Your presentation was nice and simple. My first year I had about $25,000 in scholarships, and this year we have over a million dollars in scholarships to offer around the country, which is incredible. When I was growing up, uh, I was a son of a surgeon, and the idea that I should become a cook was something very far from the uh, thoughts of my family and uh, however, today, there are many doctors and lawyers who are very proud to say, my son, the chef. This has come about through an explosion in food, restaurants, and the celebrity of chefs. Great. The sauce is the best. The pastry cream is nice and smooth. Huh? The other thing you, you did real well, you kept everything inside the room on both plates. It's really important. It's finally Judgment Day with an awards ceremony at Windows on the World, and the results are announced. I want you to go to the French Culinary Institute and take a pastry course, which meets a Tuesday and Thursday evening and Saturday during the day. And it's valued at $20,000. Danielle has a desire to be in uh, hospitality management. It's a $40,000 scholarship, $10,000 a year. And during his summers, we'll be able to place him with hotels, maybe like the Four Seasons, and he can get experience in the industry while he is going to school. If I tell a chef that we're sending a CCAP student out, that chef can be confident that that person will show up on time, 
wants to work, wants to learn, has basic safety, sanitation, and knife skills, and is not afraid to use a mop. With that, the chef can put that student right to work. CCAP started right here in New York City, and so far, seven other cities have already instituted it. In all, 20,000 kids have gone through this program. When we come back, we will learn about the lighter side of some of our graduates. <laughs>